Hello everybody, how are you doing today? Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to teach you some German slang, slang words, colloquial speech. You know, I was for a moment considering to teach you some curse words, but I have a couple of kids watching and subscribe to my channel and I just don't want to be a bad example. So, plus, you know, there's countless sources on the internet where you can just look those things up. So, you know, you don't need me to, to teach you that. <laughs> so, um, since I'm old, believe it or not, I'm not 16. I know you guys think I am. I'm not. I'm old. I'm in my late 20s. I know you're not gonna believe me. I don't care. I'm in my late 20s, so I'm officially old to a lot of you guys out there. So I had to look up what common slang words there are today from, you know, the, the, the youth today and not from my generation. Although there's still a couple words from my generation that are still in use, but, you know, the, the super, like, recent stuff I had to look up. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. This should be fun. So, since I had to look it up, I don't know how true all of this is. It's an article, and that article was probably written by someone who's at least, I don't know, 25 or up. So they probably don't talk like this either, so I don't know how true it is. They probably picked these up somewhere and think everyone talks like that. I don't think everyone does, but, you know, this should still be fun. Plus, in the end, it's supposed to relax you guys, so... It doesn't have to be accurate. Okay. Oh, In the same article, they have, like, a, a little table below where it says... These are um, all the slang words that used to be um, used, but they're totally out now. <laughs> like, they're totally out of fashion now, and I can relate with all of these. Well, almost all of them, because that's what I used to talk like. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, I really am old. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so, a lot of these are English. I'm not really, probably not going to teach you too much with these, so I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to skip these. Here we have a nice one. Fermentieren. 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 Basically, if you're just chilling with your friends and you're not doing anything, like, you're literally, you know, just chilling. Um... Then apparently that's called fermentieren, which translates to fer ferment fermenting, you know, like basically just rotting, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> ah, the youth today, they're so creative. Um, okay, a lot of this is English. That's kind of boring. Okay, get fit. Actually, I don't know if this is still true, because that's what I used to say. That's what my generation uh, used to say. Get fit. Which basically just means, that's okay, we can do that. Get fit. <laughs> I'm gonna put the words on the screen in case you really came here to learn something. Uh, Hudson. Hudson. Kind of a little bit difficult to explain. Um, if you are unemployed in Germany, you um, most of the time you get support from the state. From um, you know, you get like a little a monthly fee for to pay the most 
essential things like rent and food. So that's called Hartz IV. So, you know, people who are unemployed who don't have a job get this. So people who don't do stuff, basically. So that's what it's called, Hartz. And this is when you just chill. It says right here. I don't know how. Like I said, I don't know how accurate this is. Okay, this is funny. I hope this one's true. Hopfen smoothie. Hopfen smoothie. Hopfen smoothie. Hopfen smoothie. Hopfen smoothie. Hopfen smoothie. Beer. <laughs> you, all, you all know what a smoothie is, obviously. And hopfen is just hops. And you know, if you know a little bit some, if you know a little something about beer, then you know it's made of hops. So a, a hops smoothie. <laughs> we should make that universal. <laughs> it works in English too. Okay, this one's true, I know that, because I see it everywhere, all over the internet, especially Facebook, and it makes me cringe so hard. E-beams. E-beams, 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 I don't know how this started, and I don't know who started it. It's just a really stupid way of saying ich bin's, which means it's me. I don't know. I don't know. Seriously, guys. What's up with that? Okay, that's something that we, that my generation still use. At least I used to say that still. I, I actually still do. Läuft bei dir. Läuft bei dir. That's so super common. Like, if out of all the ones that I'm telling you, if you want to learn just one, learn this one. Like, because you hear that all the time. Life bei dir. This just means that basically you're doing really well and everything's like, you know, you're just really successful right now. Something good happened or is happening to you. By the way, <laughs> this article totally got it wrong. It kind of, kind of translated it to cool or like, Life by dear. Cool. I don't think, I, don't, I think that's wrong. But maybe I'm wrong, you know. What do I know? I'm old. Okay, that's funny. I wonder if that exists in English. Nap flixen. <laughs> nap flixen. 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 You know, from nap and Netflix? It's when you, it's when you nap while you're much, watching a movie. Probably, preferably, on Netflix. That's kind of funny. Okay. So many English ones. Okay, you know what? Let's go to the, to the table that's a little bit further down in this article that basically tells me all the old slang words that nobody uses anymore but that I totally relate with. So, you know, screw that. I still use them. Abgefucked. 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 This would totally be a, a, a really bad swear word in English because it contains the word fuck. I'll have to bleep this out. Um, it just means, you know, something that's like really old and basically broken and not working anymore. But you can also say that when you, when you just want to say that something's just really bad, like something bad happened to someone and you should say, oh dude, well that's just, I'm good for it. Bomba. <laughs> Bomba. Bomba, 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 Bomba. Yeah, I relate to many of these, yeah. That basically means something is super cool. You know, something's the bomb, the bomb. I think that's even like out of fashion in English right now. Like, not just in German. Chillen. That's not. Everybody, everybody still says that. Auf jeden. 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 I do think that's kind of not used anymore and. People who still use it are 
easily identifiable as being an older generation. I still say it. Auf jeden. Totally, definitely. Hacke. Hacke voll. I say that a lot. Hackefall means you're like, you're super drunk, like, stop it dude, go home, go to bed. Hacke, Hackefall. There's lots of variations for that one. <laughs> Horst. 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 That's just a normal name, you know, like, I don't know. Peter or Kevin or whatever, but for some reason, at some point, it started to get the the the, the meaning of idiot. Someone who's a host is an idiot. Not necessarily like in a super super offensive and bad way. It's still kind of you know lovingly. It's like ah. Oh, Dwayne Horst. Oh, you're so, you're, you're, oh, you silly, kind of like that, a little bit. Same meaning, but a different way of saying it. Pfosten, Vollpfosten. Oh my god, I loved this. I used to use that all the time. Vollpfosten. Vollpfosten. Vollpfosten, 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 Vollpfosten. It literally means post. You're a post. <laughs> I love that. See, these are so much better than than the new ones. Okay, let's let's find another. Let's find another article. This because this one's over now. No, I don't want a freaking quiz. Or maybe I do. Okay. Okay, there's already an an error in this one. It's not called Nice Stein. It's called Neisenstein. I, even I know that, and it's not from my generation. Okay, you know, that page is not worthy of, of being featured in, in this video. Okay. Um, something you'll hear really a lot, a lot, and don't ask me why. It's one of those things that... Again, I don't know how this came about, how this happened, how this started, but this is just something you'll see a lot. I think people say it sarcastically, though, because they know it's really stupid. So I, I don't think anyone says this with the intent of being serious about it, but here you go. What you're going to hear or see a lot is, was is das für ein life? What kind of life? Is that that will be like the literal translation and it basically just means like you're surprised like it's when you're surprised by something just what the heck is this so I found another article this one seems a little bit more trustworthy okay so I had to stop the recording because <laughs> I had to pee and um, then I went and grabbed something to eat because I was hungry and like half an hour has passed and I honestly forgot where I left off so excuse me if this clip is not very coherent with the previous one now you know why <laughs> so let's continue oh yeah now I remember we were at we I was talking to you about the the word unlukba Unlukba, 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 unlukba. It's like when you can't deny something. When you can literally, it's when you can't. It, something is unliable. You know, so you can't lie about it because it's so obviously true. Unlukba. Next uh, expression is anma. Which is basically, guess, guess what? Um, and it comes from etwas ahnen, to guess something, but it's like the imperative, 
Anma. Anma. Hmm. It's difficult to explain if you're not a native or, or very, very familiar with the German language, at least. Anma. 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 Okay, now the next one, I don't know if it's true, but I find it kind of funny. It's like, kind of, it'd be funny. If, okay, so the next one, I don't know if it's true because I've never heard it, but we already established that that doesn't mean anything because I'm old. So, next one is Schatzlos. 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 Which just means you're single. But the idea behind it is um, basically, literally, it would be honeyless. Honey meaning your significant other, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honeyless. I think that's a pretty good <laughs> translation. Schatzlos. Schatzlos, 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 Schatzlos. <laughs> I, oh, I hope the next one's true, because that's just freaking hilarious. Tekken. <laughs> Basically means you're texting and pooping. Basically, you're pooping while you're texting, or you're texting while you're pooping. Which, I think a lot of people do. More people than they'd admit. You know, because everyone takes their cell phone into the bathroom with them nowadays. So when you happen to be texting someone while you're also dropping the the kids off at the pool, um, then you're tucking, 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 which um, comes from the two German words texten, Nachrichten schicken, text, und kacken, which means pooping. So tucking. I hope that one's true. That's so freaking hilarious. Ooh, the next one. This might cause a little controversy among my, among you guys. Um, the next one is trump trumpeten, um, which is kind of a play on words, on the word um, trumpeten, which means to trumpet, you know, like play the trumpet, trumpeten, but instead of the O, with a neat with a U, trompeten, like Trump. And basically that means you make big promises that you then don't keep. Or you do stuff and regardless of the consequences. So trompeten, trompeten, trompeten. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I don't know if it's trompeten, trompeten, or not trompeten. Because it's Trump, so I guess it's Trumpeten. Yeah. Trumpeten, Trumpeten, Trumpeten. Okay, you guys, so, um, that was it. That was interesting. I feel older than I already did before. Now, <laughs> because a lot of these were new to me, but not all of them. So I guess, you know, I'm still, like, keeping up with the youngsters. I'm not, like, super old yet. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you learned some, something. How valuable it was. I'm not sure if it was a very valuable lesson. But yeah, I do hope you learned something. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching, guys. And I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.